We've got Chris Bishop on the phone. We were talking about him before Wellington Cafe owner Steve Jensen and his family who were forced to leave the country two weeks ago after their application for residency failed. Uh, Chris, are you there? I am. Hi, John. How are you? Yeah, good. Look, thanks for making yourself available. Thank you for calling in. Did you give the Jensen's bad advice? Did you say, look, I'm going to take your case to Scott Simpson, the Associate Minister. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Look, no one's more disappointed that the Jensen's um, uh, residence uh, wasn't approved than I am, and I've, I've fought very hard um, for them. Should it have been approved? Well, I, well, I believe it should have, but um, I'm not the decision maker. Uh, I'm an advocate for the Jensen's, and uh, I've been helping them and assisting them um, for, for some months. Uh, what, I, what I said to the Jensen's was that um, when uh, the initial application was declined by immigration was that there were basically uh, three options. Uh, one was to go for an extension of their visas. Um, so they had the ability, the option to go for a, a three-year extension. They make an application uh, for an, a three-year extension um, to give them more time to fulfil the requirements for residence. Um, I said that they, if they um, decided not to do that, that they could um, obviously appeal, and that's all laid out in the letter they received from immigration. They could appeal to the Immigration Protection Tribunal. Uh, and the final resort, uh, the third option, which uh, is the one that um, we went for in the end, uh, was to make an appeal to uh, the minister to yep, intervene. Absolutely. Um, and they, use they, they, said, they said that your advice was that they didn't need to appeal, that actually the appeal to them. So they didn't need to uh, appeal to the Immigration and Protection Tribunal, that that was your advice, that actually Scott Simpson alone would do the trick. Did you give them a bum steer, Chris? No, no, no. I, I, I made look. I think that's an unfair characterisation. I, I don't want to get into a he said, she said with Steve, who I, who I like and respect very much, um, and has made a great contribution to Lower Heart. And I haven't, um, just so you also know, I haven't heard the interview with Steve that I understand you ran before. I've been um, collecting for Women's Refuge all afternoon, so I haven't, um, I haven't heard it. But I think that's unfair. Um, what, what I said was the appeal to the minister is the last resort option. It's, it's the, um, it, you're essentially asking the minister to override the decision of officials, and that's a, a big thing for a minister to do. And I said, if you do decide to go down that path, I will mount the best case I possibly can. Right, OK. Now, look, you. I'm so sorry, but because uh, we're 20 seconds a, you know, before a, six, and you know the pips on national radio are like the guillotine. But is it over for the Jensen's? You have 15 seconds to answer that question, or can they get back into New Zealand? Well, the appeal, the appeal to the minister is over, but they also have the ability to apply for an extension of their existing visas. Their visas don't expire till November. And